Well, there's no doubt we've experienced some unusually warm weather this winter so far, but watch out for a cold snap if you're planning to plant a little bit early. Well, with those cold temperatures coming in, 5 News reporter Jacob Luthi shares what you can do to protect your plants if you've already put them in the soil. Annual flowers, the ones that don't come back every year, they cannot have anything 32 or below. It will totally kill them. If you thought to get a head start on your gardening this year, you may need to take some steps to protect your plants this week. With temperatures expected near freezing in five country, you may not be the only one who needs bundling up. A way to protect things that you've already planted is with a frost cloth or a sheet. Um, a frost cloth would be a little bit better because it would hold in the temperature a little bit more. If no cloth is handy, household items like a styrofoam cup can work as well. Push down over the plant and kind of dig it down in the dirt um, to protect it just for like one night or two nights. So that works really well if you don't have a whole bunch of plants. County horticulture agent for Washington County, Colin Massey, says estimated average frost for our area lasts up until around April 10th to April 20th. Mahan says planting after tax day is a good rule of thumb for gardeners. We all get antsy and want to plant before it's really time because usually our our last frost date is not until, you know, round tax day. Forecasted cold weather not only affects most plants, it also impacts local lawn and garden companies. If we have a beautiful, warm, sunny day, it's like the light switch is on. We have an influx of customers. We're very busy. And when the weatherman says it's going to freeze, that day will be very, very slow. According to Massey, patience and planning is better than expending energy replacing or repairing injured plants. In Farmington, covering news where you live, Jacob Luthi, 5 News.